squad in here. Oh, what a horrendous rain. I haven't been up here. Look at it all. It is absolutely soaking in the lockup. How's about that for a flood? Why is it run right into my shed? Comes running right down here, flooded up there and went in there. God almighty. It's about two inches of water. God's sake. Shed, but it's definitely the wettest. I'm busy chicken, I kind of hear you wandering about all the place. Lead! Hey! Lead, you peed. I'm tying you up. Just bad. It's been like a river in there. See? I came out of 10, 20 gallons of water. Right to the back, cooler water it was. At least it runs up in plastic uh, boxes. They start to float, and then everything falls down. The tide mark, 
and up to it there. And here, tide mark there. The boxes are starting to float. Power of water. This side here is another inch of tide mark. So, no runs off the ground. It, the things will get damp now. Unless there's ventilation, and there's not a lot of ventilation in here. Looks like plugged up the ventilation. The rain was coming in. Sideways. A little bit there. Make some more ventilation in the roof. Put it around back in. It's just not much to go back in now. I'm a bike in the back in there. I'll have to chuck out that table's cabinet things. And chuck out a few other things. A car would sell. That should wait to take, and take some of that foam out of that cracks there so here it can get out. And it can catch a layer. Put sandbags there. I'll have to come here when it's really poor and see where the water's coming from. Just running right in my shed. So it's law, isn't it? Everything else dries up bone. Next one up the weeks. I don't know if that's going to do any good at all. It would be so bad if it run down there. Once it gets in there, Need to get like that and then freeze into all the cracks and the joints. Oh, shed fall down. Lovely. 